Here we go. What is going on, guys? Angel from Seven Slot. We're here. We're doing another podcast. Recording in GarageBand. We are live on Facebook. I'm going to call a guest and hopefully they pick up. I have not pre-authenticated the... Uh, oh, hold on. I didn't even start recording over here yet. I have not pre-authenticated with the guest that we are trying to go with. But hopefully, hopefully he picks up. So we're we're gonna call him, and hopefully this will uh, this will be our podcast because I have not. I tried to do it last night, but then I fell asleep. So let's try this. All right. So we are recording here. Let's see what happens. I hope you guys can hear this. My dog. Hello. What is going on, guy? Nothing, man. Um, I just got back to the house. And Grace and I are about to change to go dinner. Okay, and so I'm uploading footage right now. So now's not a good time for a podcast, is it? <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay. Well, you can go ahead and apologize to the four people that are watching this live right now. Oh. Oh yeah, sorry, bud. Guys. I got you. I got you, bud. Dang it. That's okay. Well, well, I'll call somebody else. Don't worry about it, buddy. We'll do another one. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye, buddy. Tell Grace I say bye. Okay. Okay, so that didn't work out. I th- I didn't think it was going to work out, but that's okay. So what's up, Blair? What's up, Zach? What's up, Julie? We tried to call Jarrett and Grace from Crawl TV. They were clearly busy. That did not work out. Um, so let's go here and see who I have in my phone. Bye, Erica. Oh, Jarrett, now you want to join. You want to, you want to watch, but you don't want to be on the call. That's okay, bud. All right, let me... Uh, I really have no no um, direction for this. I thought Jarrett was going to actually answer and we were going to have a conversation, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going through my phone here. Uh, let's see, who can we call? Who can we call? If you have any good ideas of who I can call and post up those phone numbers... Let me know. All right, let's see. I have Tom Christensen's number in my phone for some reason. I don't know if I want to call him. I don't know if we're on that level yet. I don't know if we're on on the level for me to just call call, call Tom. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're scrolling through here. We're in D's right now. Don't answer. Oh, I wonder who that is. That's probably a number from California. Uh, back in my, my crazy days. Uh, let's see here. G. I'm still looking. Let's see. What do we have here? Jared says, give me some more notice. I'm going to dinner. Brady. Oh, he, <laughs> Brady wants me to call Mark. <laughs> Eight six seven five three zero nine. Ha ha. That's pretty funny, Jared. Mark Kilpatrick would love a phone call. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Ray is always entertaining. Lamb chop is always fun. Um, <clears throat> I would normally call lamb chop, but he's. Uh, I actually spoke to him before this, and he can't take a phone call right now. So let's see uh, if any of you guys have any other ideas. What's up, Jeff Perkins? Jeff Perkins, would you like a phone call? Do you want to be on this podcast, Jeff Perkins? Do you want this podcast to be titled "Podcast with Jeff Perkins"? If so, put your number up here in these comments, bud. And I will call you. Look, I'm ready to go, bud. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Get them digis. Let me get them digis, buddy. Actually, let me go in my contacts right now and see if uh, I have you in here. I don't think I do, honestly. No. I have my old corporal in here who I hate with every fiber of my body, so we're not going to call him. Jeff Perkins, if you would like to be on the podcast, go ahead and give me a -a ring-a-ding. Mm. Gonna take a sip of my water there. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Chase? We're waiting for Jeff to uh, drop us his phone number so we can call him and have him on the podcast. We already tried to call... uh, We tried to call Jarrett, and Jarrett is busy right now. Sorry. I'm I'm feeling a little bit sick. What is up, Joseph? Come on, Jeff. Let's go. Stop being a baby. Let me get them digis, bro. So in the meantime, 
What's up, Aaron? Uh, Aaron, if you want to drop your digis, let's go. Let's get on the podcast. I'm looking like a fucking stupid fuck right now since I have the person I was trying to call didn't have time for me. I'm trying to get somebody else on my podcast. I want to talk about like page growth and how you deal with certain things. And I have a whole bunch of questions that I printed out here that are actually the wrong questions. They're just questions that people randomly ask the very first time that I put up a post. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Devin? <clears throat> oh, Kyle's about to go get drunk at Fridays. That's cool. Actually, you know what? Pfft. We're going to do this gangster style. I actually have Aaron's phone number, so uh, better pick up your phone, Aaron. Okay, let's see here. Um, E-R, Aaron. There we go. All right. All right, we're calling. Oh, she, uh, Julie wanted me to call Ray Wolf. I talk to Ray every day. What's up? What's going on? We have Aaron <laughs> Hicks, the dude from SoCal Jeepers. What is going on? Not much. I'm freezing my ass off. What? Are you in the desert right now? Yeah. Oh, we have <laughs> we have someone from the desert right now. Are you warming up our spot for King of the Hammers right now? Uh, I'm almost there. I'm actually in Barstow right now. Oh, Barstow. Okay, that's so. a name. That's a name that I'm familiar with from my days yeah. of Twenty Nine Palms. Okay, it's so let's let's talk business. When did you first start your Instagram, <laughs> and what is the actual name of it? Jeeps of SoCal. Jeeps of SoCal. One word, or is there a weird fucking underscore? What's going on oh, here? One word. One word. Okay. When did no you start underscore. it? Um, I started it the summer of twenty fourteen. Okay. And why? So, why? That's that's the big question. Why? Why? <laughs> um, you know, I don't really know why. I um I held a Jeep meet in Anaheim. Uh-huh. Kinda to one up one of my brother's friends. Okay, I'm a fan, I'm following. He uh he hosted some like FJ Cruiser thing and I was like, Oh, that's kind of a cool idea. Um, and I saw a couple of days later and I saw pictures and there was like maybe 10 vehicles Uh uh-huh and kind of jokingly to my brother i was like i bet i could do better than that oh got (laughs) him and so i threw it together and i had like 60 vehicles show up that day really the first meet you had 60 people show up yeah good lord so i just slapped a name on it and kind of ran with it so and explain to me what's what's the thing behind that dude from jeeps of socal all right, because people on the internet assume that it's a man behind the scenes. So it's not so like, its not that people have mistaken you for a man. It's just that no. they assume that you are a man because it's so an Instagram I, page. When I get messages from people, it's like, hey, dude, thanks, man. What's up, bro? But isn't that like a Cali uh, thing? No, I don't think so. Like, dude, like, dude, bro. I mean, maybe. Maybe. You just, like, fucked my whole nickname. I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. And so I made the hoodie um, before King of the Hammers in this year, 2018, uh-huh. because people would like hit me up and be like, hey, I can't find you. And I'm like, well, you're probably looking for a guy. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it up the hoodie so that people could find me. So Nice. Yeah. So yeah, we're, I'm still working on uh, a thing to, to get you some badass shirts because yes. I will tell everyone here, all five <laughs> people that are watching and maybe the four people that will listen to this podcast after the fact, Teespring, let me tell you, Teespring is the fucking devil. I know. And I'm try I just do I did the same thing for Jarrett. I gotta I gotta deal with Jarrett for a pre order yeah. that's not Teespring, that's not gonna suck, so um, Me and you are going to have to talk about that. All right, we'll figure it out. Yeah, all right. Well, you enjoy your beers in the desert. Thank you so Thanks, much for man. answering. I appreciate that. No uh, problem. I'll have you on the podcast again, but I'll actually have, like, real questions for you so we can have an actual conversation. This is kind of right. off the cuff, but. Yeah, no worries. All right. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks. Thanks. I'll bye. see you soon. All right, bye. Bye. All right, so. ba ba ba. The first person via uh, second, no, because we had Jarrett and uh, Grace on the podcast that we lost. We actually recorded an entire podcast and we lost it. What's up, Ray? What's up, Aaron? Ray, I do not know why you're tagged in this. I'm just reading the comments, guys, because uh, you're loved. Okay, all right. <clears throat> 
So let's see, who should we call next? We just had a conversation with that dude from Jeeps of SoCal. Jeff Perkins refuses to put his phone number in here so I can call him. That's okay. Kind of is what it is. Um, let's see here. I'm wondering if we should call one of my friends and uh, ask them to tell an embarrassing story about me. Should we do that? Nah, let's not do that. Man, I need to clean up. I'm scrolling through my contacts right now. I really need to clean up my my contacts. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is a ton of people in here that I do not know or want to talk to anymore. Okay. So that's not a fan of that. All right, everybody's saying Mark Kilpatrick. I don't know. I don't even know if I have the right phone number for Mark, honestly. All right, so I'm still scrolling here. Mm, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit sick. Let's see. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Let's. Do you want to try call Patrick? I wonder if this is the right number for Patrick. I only have one number for him. Oh, I don't want to call it in case it's the wrong one. Damn it. What's up, Steven? Oh, Ray said he drove his Jeep for the first time uh, since September. That's pretty cool, buddy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Um, let's see. Posey. Radcliffe. I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking for I'm looking for somebody good to call. I probably should have planned this out a little bit better, but I absolutely did not, as per usual. Oh. Uh, Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, who is this? I bought five minutes. You bought five, you got me five minutes? Five minutes of uninterrupted airtime. Oh my God, how fucking generous of you. Jarrett from <laughs> Crawl TV, guys, has graced us with his fucking presence. Thank you, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Are you doing, is this, is this while Grace is putting on her makeup? That is correct. I fucking called it. Okay, so first question that I have for you is when did Crawl TV start? I know when it started, but I want you to tell the people of the podcast when it started. Oh, shoot. Um, geez, Grace would be better at answering this one. Well, Crawl you TV said started. we don't have Grace. We only have half of the team, bro. Yeah, we've got, like, the TV part of it. <laughs> uh, Crawl TV started in 2014. 2014. Grace and I were walking the dogs, uh -huh. and um, we had a friend who had a YouTube channel, and he doesn't have it anymore, but he was doing Jeep videos, and he totally, like, bs what YouTube actually pays. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, it, meaning, like, meaning he didn't, like, tell you how much they actually paid, or he said it was more than it was? Oh, he said it was way more than it was. Uh, but we were watching his videos, and we were like, oh, heck, we can do that. And Grace, I was taking... That's what uh, I say when I, I watch half of these class. people's videos. Yeah. <laughs> I was taking a public speaking class at the time, and I'd already, like, started shooting videos just to get through that class and stuff, and Grace was like, hey, you're fine on camera. Like, let's just shoot a Crawl TV video. She yeah, was always you are with... fine on camera, bro. Shit. Oh, thanks. But um, it was right after I had gotten home from a deployment, and Grace was trying to learn about Jeeps and stuff, uh -huh. Because it's a hobby that we both share, and she wanted to know more, like, technical stuff about it. Right. Because she's so, a good wife. Yeah, so she um, she was watching these videos, and it was frustrating to her because she didn't know anything about them. To like any of the technical like, terms? Right, now we're going to remove the cylinder head. Ah, now okay. that the cylinder head is removed, and there was no step-by-step -step of any of it, so she was like, Jerry, why don't we just make these videos? Right. Like, we're doing it anyways. So we were walking our dogs. And we were living in Collinsville, Illinois at the time. Uh -huh. And that's how we came up with the name Crawl TV. It was originally an acronym. No shit. Yeah, so if you look at some of the early logos, it's actually C.R.A.W.L. I did so notice that, yeah. Yeah, that's... so that actually stood for Crawford's Really Awesome Wheeling Life. Shut the fuck up. That is, yeah. say it again, say it again, hold on. 
Crawford's really awesome wheeling life. That is fucking stellar. Why aren't we doing shirts that say that? Oh I my don't god. I haven't shared that with anybody. Oh, <laughs> and now you just shared it with a whole eight people, bro. Because. I know. All these... eight people are going to know what that stood for originally. And then eventually we just got away from the acronym and now it's just Carl TV. I mean, it worked out for you, but that is absolutely stellar. Oh my god. <laughs> that just made my <laughs> fucking day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Um, I have a humble I, beginning. Still y- humble. But uh-huh. yeah, it was it was really basic stuff when we first started. Our first video I just shared the other day was putting um, aftermarket mirrors on a JK. Like really basic stuff. What is at this point your most either paid or most viewed video? I don't cuz I don't think those go hand in hand. Most views versus most payout cuz ad is different than all that fucking YouTube nerd shit. But what's your most popular video right now? Our most popular video is still a video that we made a few years ago, which is trimming our fenders. Like, it's, it's basic enough that somebody who just bought a JK and wants to do budget build stuff on it can watch it, so it's done pretty well. Right. And then that's followed up by our CB radio install, which is also really basic. Um, but our highest paying video is actually the one that I just posted like two weeks ago which is us taking the Jeep and drowning it underwater. Yes, because I feel like you guys had a good following and then you did something wild and then everybody was like, oh, I've been following this person so I should actually watch it. Because a lot of the people that I subscribe to on YouTube, if I see their notification pop up, I'm like, okay, their title sucks. I'm not going to watch it right now. I put it off, I put it off, I put it off. But when yours popped up, well, you texted me, obviously. But when the the name popped up, I was like, fuck yes, I am absolutely watching that. Yeah, so that that did pretty well. It got like close to 40,000 views. But the cool thing about it is it's a half hour video and it's got four ad breaks in it. So it's paid out our average monthly like paid check from YouTube right now is just over 800 bucks. For a month? After that video. Holy shit, before, dude. Before that, it was like 250 Okay, so remember when you and I first started talking and I asked you a very inappropriate question of how much you make off YouTube? Do you remember how much you told me it was? I think I said 125 That's exactly what you said, and that's how much you guys have been growing since that point, since we started talking, which fucking stokes me up so fucking much, man. That makes me so happy. Yeah, it's awesome. We went up 2,000 subscribers in the last two weeks. That is a fucking insane. That's what that, that's yeah. just, that's just absolutely wild, man. You got to sink your Jeep more often. Shit, I should buy you a Jeep and you should sink it. <laughs> Fuck. But we're gonna take we're gonna take a quick break right now. If you want a crawl TV sticker, I actually have them on the website. 7 com. Go buy them. I ship them out in a day or two at the latest three. Jarrett and Grace are getting the profits of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you'd like a sticker, go buy it right now. I ship it fast. If you've tried to buy one from them before, it takes a little while. We know. That's okay. It's something we're working on. It's okay. But we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jared, I'm going to let you go. Enjoy your time with your wife. Thank you so much for giving me some of your time. We will do an actual real podcast, and I will have actual questions, and we can dive a little more into this business aspect of what Crawl TV is. Awesome, man. Thanks for having us on. All right, later, dude. Tell Grace to say hi. I will. All yeah. right, bye. bye. <clears throat> that is stellar. So stoked about that. What is up, Corey? What is up, Sarah? What is up, Kyle? <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to cough. Ah, uh, Joe has joined us. All right, so who else should we call? I guess we're just going to try and call as many people as we absolutely can. Uh, we have about 10 minutes left on the camera. I want to keep this under 30 minutes. Let's go in here and check GarageBand. Looks like we're looking good in GarageBand. Let's go back here. Okay, so does anybody have any questions or anything they want to talk about? I'm in here. I'm looking through my phone right now. I'm trying to find uh, someone interesting that we can talk to. I I don't have that many interesting people in my phone, to be honest with you. Ooh, excuse me. 
Oh man, I'm already at the W's. See, half these people, I don't know like if they're okay with me calling them because I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work. And I feel like I have to be upfront with them, saying we're recording this live. Blah 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 blah. Is it okay if we record this conversation? All right. <clears throat> so Jeff still hasn't given me his phone number. I wanted to talk to him. Marcus says, when will your Jeep be done? That is a good question, Marcus. The easy answer is I have my truck that I'm trying to sell, and I have the doubler, 231 doubler that I'm trying to sell. And once I get those two things sold, I will have money to buy the rest of the things that I need, and then we can get the ball rolling. But right now we're waiting on money. <clears throat> <coughs> I am sorry. <coughs> I apologize. I know these microphones pick up a lot, and I'm a little bit sick. <clears throat> Marcus, you need a truck. Well, I have a truck. <coughs> Good Lord. All right. Uh, let me see here. Give me one second. Let me try. <laughs> Brady says $700 for the doubler and the truck. Um... Pass. Thank you, Brady. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, man. Jarrett just hooked it up. Jarrett just hooked it up, man. Let's let's see what happens here. Just waiting. You reach the voicemail of Jeff Perkins. Please squeeze your name and number, and I will return your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished Boo. recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Young Jeffrey, you're killing me, bro. You're killing me. You have now been banned from the podcast for the period of four weeks. I hate you, and I love you, and I can't wait to see you at King of the Hammers. I hope you have a great night. Goodbye. All right, so Jeff Perkins obviously doesn't want to be on the podcast. That's okay. <clears throat> you know what's the funniest thing is that the contact card that Jared sent me has the rough country. Oh, God. has the, I can't, okay. has the rough country label on it, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> what is up, Fernando? What's going on, buddy? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, let me reach out to one other person. Sorry if you can hear me typing. I'm trying to uh, compose. Uh, Scott says, who is this skinny looking fuck on camera? Aw. Thank you, bro. I'm at 209. I have, I have three days to lose nine pounds. So I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Obviously I should have been underweight way prior to the end of the year, but now I'm doing it the unhealthy way. Uh, but okay. It is what it is. Alright, we got about seven minutes left. Thank you guys for listening to this podcast and for watching live. <clears throat> Ray says okay, Ray's talking about something else. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right. Hey. Yes, Scott, I am planning on sweating it out and taking a shit. I have also drank a lot of milk of magnesia today, which is so not good for your body, by the way. Do not do that. Um, but I'm getting there. Jared says he wants me to call Caleb Forbes. Um, I don't know if I have Caleb Forbes' number. Let me check. Um, hmm. Let me check and see if I have Caleb Forbes' number. All right, we are looking. See, I need to plan this way, 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 way better because this does not work out well. <clears throat> but I haven't done a podcast in so goddamn long, I don't really care. Because I need to put something out, and I feel bad. C-A-L-E-B. Nope. <clears throat> I have a different Caleb, not that Caleb. 
All right, if you guys, we have about less than five minutes to go. If you guys would like to call, put your number in the comments. I will call you right now. We'll call you right now, and we will have a little chit-chat. Hmm. Marcus says, when will Brady's Jeep be done? Well, that's not really up to me, buddy, but is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So some of these questions, Lenny asks, I'm reading from the, uh, the older questions. I don't think I actually ever answered these uh, while I'm waiting for a phone number or a question. Call Michael Milicek. I don't have his number either, dude. I don't know famous people. Fuck. Stop telling me to call people that are famous. Lenny says, do you actually like Jeeps or just the Jeep slash community? Because I think Jeeps suck. Well... I don't know. I uh, I think the vehicle is kind of like, meh. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, I like the look of it. I like how it performs stock when you modify it. Like, that's, it's all I really know. Um, but that could come or go. Like, I feel like I'd do equally as well in a Toyota group. Because I just like the, the community and the people and the talking and the blah, blah, blah. What's up, Kimberly? Yes, I am still doing this because you are still watching. Caleb, put your phone number in the fucking comments and I'll call you. God damn. Said it like seven times. I don't have your number, dude. You work for RevKit now. You're like super fucking famous. Scott says call the taco truck. No, I will not call the taco truck because I am hell-bent on losing this goddamn weight, my guy. Oh, my God, Caleb finally gave me his number. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, uh, 8982192. Okay. Here we go. We're calling. Calling. Yo. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Forbes. Uh, I think you got the right number. Oh, uh, the wrong number? Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's going on? What's up, bro? How have you been loving life at RevKit? Dude, life at RevKit's wonderful. Hell yeah. So how did that come about? Because I feel like that's the biggest question that everyone has right now is how did you land a fucking dope fucking job like that? Uh, kind of by chance, kind of industry friends. Did, uh, you, did you hit them up and were like, yo, I can help you with this? No, actually I didn't. Um, oh, so I made I made a rev kit like after they first launched the official site and I put the uh, action truck on there. Right. And they really liked the action truck. They liked how unique it was. They liked the direction I was going with it, with, like the Baja style race truck on 40s. And uh, so my buddy Bob Corkin was like, "Dude, you absolutely need a rev kit. You need to get your shit on there. It's going to be like the next Instagram for Jeeps." And I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, this is cool." Yeah. Uh, so I put it on there, put all my build specs on there. They really liked it. Um, so over time, we just kind of developed a friendship. They would send me some cool stuff and say, hey, test this out, try this out. Hey, how do you like this? How does this look? And I, oh, I would like di more, different features of the that. website? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So you're like a like beta tester. Features. Right. Okay. And, uh, so I went from JCR back to Ruby Trucks and was trying to get RevKit set up with Ruby Trucks to feature like the Ruby Trucks build. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> then... We were at the uh, Smoky Mountain Jeep Division. Um, I ended up going to a moonshine tasting with them, and uh, they thought I was really cool. And they're like, dude, you're exactly who we've been looking for to kind of spearhead RevKit. Do you want to be a part of RevKit? Really? For, for a little bit. And I was like, you know what? I believe in this, and I believe in you guys, and I believe in everything that you got going on. Like, let's make this happen. That is fucking stellar, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And from there on, and it you know, kind of started off as talking as like a part time position. And um, then the more we kind of got into it, the more we saw the bigger picture of what RevKit has the potential to be. Uh -huh. And uh, so just through some creative development between Mike, Dan, and myself, and you know, a couple other small people we have on board to kind of run the everyday operation, like uh, we just kept putting the bigger idea and bigger picture into mind. And, right. Uh, Eventually, it was just one of those things that was like, this can't be a part-time gig. Like, do you want to be all in or, or not? And so 
That is we, so uh, awesome, man. We agreed on on the salary, and and I, I said, you know, screw it, I'm I'm all in, and if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go real big, and if we fail, we're gonna fail big. Hell so yes, far, that makes me so stellar. happy to hear. That's like <laughs> how I'm trying to live my life right now. That is fucking stellar. All right, dude, I'm going to call one other person. We're going to get you on. Like, I have a whole list of people that I want to do a podcast with, like in-depth podcasts, but this is, like, off the cuff. We're doing some wild shit, so I'm going to get with you, and we're going to set up a date for, like, a legit podcast, all right? Let's do it, bro. All right, man, have a good night. You too. Shut up. Later. So that was Caleb from RevKit. <clears throat> now, someone was calling while... Uh, me and Caleb were talking. We're going to call them back. Hello? Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Who, who do... We're, we're live right now on the podcast. Who do we have on the phone right now? You have me on the phone, but I'm watching the live thing and... <laughs> who is me? You got to tell the people who me is. Is there a delay? There is a delay, so stop watching and talk to me. Oh, stop watching and talk to you. Yes. My name is motherfucking Lamb Chop. <laughs> Big King fucking Dingling Lamb Chop. What yes. What you motherfuckers? We have Lamb Chop from the Nargabillies here. And I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to talk about some shit. Dude, you know what we should talk about? What should, what should I, we talk I, about? He just fucking don't know me. I haven't brushed my teeth in two days. That's impressive. Oh, no. It tastes really bad. My teeth feel like they got fucking hair on them. Well, the bubbles from the beer will actually, like, kind of break down whatever's on your teeth. Oh, I did a shit ton of shots. Like, it was fucking Jameson. Oh, like, yeah, so your mouth has been I sterilized. I've been sanitary shit, like cleaning my mouth out with alcohol. I still got hair on my teeth. Yeah, your mouth has been sanitized by the alcohol, bro. Yeah, what's fucking that? What's up, man? Yeah, you'll be good. I just, I wanted to, I wanted to call you and talk to you. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Should we ask the people in the comments what they want us to talk about? As long as I'm not watching. Uh, well, I'm watching. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so we'll we'll do like maybe a little five minutes of uh, of question and answer, and we can also go okay, off the okay. off the question over okay, here. Fucking joking. All I'm right. In. I'm in. So we got one here. Thomas asks, "Are Cherokees real Jeeps?" Oh, fuck Thomas. I don't. I don't even like that name. Okay, it is Thomas Ebert, and no, he's I'm a just dick. What did, what did he ask? Thomas asks, are Cherokees even real Jeeps? Yeah, absolutely. Don't, don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> Just because they don't have a fucking frame doesn't mean they're not real Jeeps. That was the first fucking thing I ever wheeled, and I don't get wheeled the fuck out of it. It's true, it's true, it's true. All right, let me find another question here. Uh, let me see here. Um, Bernie asks, uh, Bernie? no. As in uh, no, it was, it was the wrong one. Malpass asked, do women like men with nipple rings? As in Malpass, as in Mini Mike? Mini Mike. <laughs> I don't care what Mini Mike asks, he's my friend. Fuck yeah, Mini Mike, and I'll just agree with you. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I think, uh, actually, if that's Jeff texting me, he can wait. Alright, Jarrett asks... <laughs> Jarrett asks, how long has Lamb Chop been a full-time model? That's actually a good question. Oh, man. Um, how, many, how many hours has it been since we took those pictures? <laughs> I, it's, uh, we did it last Saturday. I think it's been a full week. A fucking week? Yeah. Eric, it's been a week. And I got to be honest with you. Career paths have fucking opened. Like, there, there's a lot of people texting me, and they're like, hey, you're a little fat, that fucking midget, man. You should come take pictures for us. And I'm like, uh, no, I only do that for Angel. Has Vogue called you yet? Do what? Has Vogue called you yet? Vogue? As in Vogue Whistle? No, Vogue, like the fucking magazine. Oh, Vogue? Yeah. With a V. V, Vogue. No, I don't, I don't fucking pick up my phone for numbers. You, you don't, don't well. pick up your phone for Vogue? <laughs> no. If, if you're not fucking 
Forbes. I don't have time to talk to you. Okay, I'm shooting for the top. If I don't make the fucking Forbes list, I'm telling you right now, with the free fucking food coupon that I got for all that ticket shirts off and... That was your first like, payment, I got, bro. I got fucking quesadillas, dude. I got fucking quesadillas, and they were delicious. <laughs> you already used it? I'm fucking on my way home. I'm fucking <laughs> fat. Of course I use the free food coupon oh, on my way home. That is absolutely hilarious. What kind of fucking idiot do you think I am? Oh my god. Okay, so we got one from Garrett. Garrett says As in Garrett from Slidell? I really like that guy. No. Is it the same Garrett? Garrett Dugan. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. Oh, he is from Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you know what I'm talking about. All right, so he says lift kit, rock crawler or genrite versus DIY, a.k.a. rough stuff or barns. Which would you go with? <laughs> uh, fucking solo. Stock suspension. Nothing flexes like stock suspension. Stop asking me stupid fucking questions. Cut all of the fucking body away. If you were riding on a fucking frame with a stock floorboard in 40s, you're doing great. All right, I can I can appreciate that. All right, so let's get one more question in. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, what is a very the very most important tool you need to keep in your Jeep or vehicle at all times. Like, even if you forget the entire recovery kit, what is the one thing that you need to have with you? A mechanic. Um, no, like a thing, not a person. And I feel like oh, I, I know, know I, I feel like I know what you're going to say. It has to be a thing. I think I know what you're going to say, but I'm, I'm interested to hear what you are going to say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't carry anything in any of my buggies except for somebody who can fucking fix it. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so what if you just think about it? Like, what's one thing you would love to have if you're stuck in the woods at 2 o'clock in the morning and you're like, fuck, I need blah, blah, blah? More beer. Oh, I, I called it. I fucking called it. That's what I was yeah, thinking. More beer. That's what I was thinking. I was like, the only thing literally, Laptop's going to bring is fucking, fucking beer. beer. Because I am literally stuck with my buggy until somebody <laughs> who knows more about buggies can come fix it for me. Oh, my God. I called it. I fucking love you, dude. All right, we're going to hop off here. I'll talk to you tomorrow, man. You have a good night, all right? All right. Love you, man. Love you, buddy. Bye. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this podcast. We are going to cut this short. I'm going to finish this up and head to bed. I have a shitload of stuff I need to do tomorrow. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope you have a great night. We're going to do actual full podcasts with people where I'm going to have, like, real questions. And we're going to, like, schedule times and blah, blah, and all that shit. Um, this, I just needed to put a podcast out because it's been so long. I feel like I'm doing a disservice to all the people that originally subscribed to the podcast. But now I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Thank you for listening. I sincerely appreciate you. Goodbye.